We're going on as big underdogs, but if we went on as big underdogs against Dublin in the semi-final and we got over that one, it's a big, big ask, but, you know, our boys are in a good place. They're trained really, really hard. And, uh, you know, I know myself, if we can produce the 60 minutes of football that we're capable of, then we're capable of winning the All-Ireland. Well, we spent an hour and a half going out to train, so we train for two hours, and then everybody gets food and shower, and an hour, hour and a half back in. So a lot, a lot of time, and you're expected to do homework, and then you're expecting to study as well. Well, to be honest, Tony's motto all last year was, I can repeat my leaving, I can't repeat the minors. So we had no option but to go with that motto because it's what he's always wanted to do, you know, as play Gaelic. Like, that's his life. But he was lucky he got enough points to do the course he wanted, so. A lot more people want to play Gaelic now, so they seeing that all the, the seniors are succeeding and they are one of the things. I've heard from a lot of children of eight, nine, ten years of age at all, that's what they want to do. They want to go on one hour and that's what all they want to do now is play Gaelic and that's all. Proud would probably be an understatement. Like everybody in the whole area is, you know, amazed at how well the whole team has done. Like, I mean, I wouldn't just be the only proud mommy, obviously, in Donegal at the moment. These guys have been together the best part of three years. And, I mean, great, great attitude, uh, great commitment. I mean, they eat, drink, sleep football, and uh, that's what it takes to get to the top.